Well, well, well. Let us see what is the next best thing that Blender has to offer us. With that being said, and now let me go to UV editing workspace. And here, my object is completely selected. That's why the UV maps are visible. And make sure that I am in edit mode. And if I click somewhere else, the UV map will go. For it to see, you can click on UV sync button so that you could see the object as well as its UV map. Today's special guest is UV Menus Unwrap. We will be seeing live unwrap in a little bit, but first we will be seeing what these entire options are and how these options can be utilized. So for that to show you, what I will actually do is I will hide this object and we will take a little bit complex object. Shift A, Mesh, and then go to Torus, and then zoom in on this thing, and tab. Its UV map is laid something like this and it's elongated how to know if it's elongated or not let me show you let me go to this new option and then in the generated type i want to create a uv grid and click on ok so here the uv grid is created and uh, for this to be visible on this object we need to go to shading tab make sure the object is selected click on new button so that a new material is created and then shift a and search for image texture the image texture is somewhere over here and then just connect the image because there is nothing over here that's why it's showing black but already i have created a grid inside blender so blender knows that and from here in this drop down menu i can select that grid over here and then come back to uv editing workspace and uh, go to material preview editor material preview mode to view it and now you can see that the uv grid over here are square but on this torus it's a little bit elongated so what can be done it can be unwrapped what actually is wrapping up if i take this object and wrap a wrapping paper on it we are seeing that it is wrapped Unwrap is like unwrapping the layer, unwrapping the paper and laying it flat on a table or a surface or a ground. So that is called unwrapping. So for that to happen, we have to give cuts on the object. So those cuts are called as seams. You can see the shirt has a seam over here. It has a seam over here. It has a seam over here. And the same thing is repeated over here, here and here. So there's cuts are called in 3d language seams yes c a m s so what i can do is i can alt click on this edge so that this edge is selected and then click on u you get this unwrap menu the unwrap menu is over here you can also access it by using u the main difference between clicking u over here and over here is if you click u over here you get limited options and if you click u over here you get this extra options so that is the main difference between clicking here and clicking there so what i will do is i will alt click this line then tap u and mark it as a cut which is called as seam alt click over here u and the one of the most beautiful thing that blender does unknowingly which should be commended which should be really commended is it will remember the last operator which you have clicked on and brings the highlighter over it so it knows that last time i have marked the seam and now i want to mark the seam as well and or now if i select the entire thing and tap u and now if i click on unwrap it is going to create two portions one is top portion one is bottom portion that's why we are able to see both these circles over here so for it to be visible i will create a new blank layer so that you could easily see it one of the most wonderful thing that blender does is it also shows if the uvs are distorted if the uvs are stretched that can be visible by 
clicking on this overlay button and clicking on display stretch it is going to display the stretch if I select bunch of vertices over here and tap on G and move it it is going to show me this part is stretched too much so that's how it is very visibly helpful so the first option was unwrap the next option is smart UV project so for that to work I will clear all the seams I will select it by tapping A on the keyboard and U for unwrap menu and clear seam to remove the red lines which were used as cut lines so now if I tap on U and go to the next option which is smart UV project and now we have to give angle to it if I click on OK it will be cutting the object according to the angle and the more the angle is the more the stretch will be visible and the lesser the angle is the lesser the stretch will be visible but also the edges will not be connected it will be very haphazardly placed so that's the takeaway between angle which is higher and angle which is lower and then island margin you can increase the distance between the islands or reduce the difference reduce the distance between the islands so that was smart UV project now I will tap on U and light map pack it's going to pack all the word all the faces on this UV grid entirely actually now it's not helpful but when texture paint is going to get upgraded or overhauled it's going to do wonders and it's going to do magic when the texture painting part is going to develop into a very wonderful kind of mode so that time this is going to use uh, this is going to be very 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 useful right now not that much so the next is follow active chords so for me to show the follow active chords I have to do a little bit of setting over here what I will actually do is I will alt click on this edge alt and shift and click on this edge alt and shift and click on this edge and then U and mark seam so it will mark all the three lines as seams if I tap 3 over here you can see the seams are visible over here if I go to solid mode the seams are visible over here now if I tap U and unwrap it it's going to unwrap it let me select the entire faces by tapping A, A and then by going to U and unwrap this is how my object has been unwrapped there are two options over here one is angle based and one is conformal conformal is useful for simpler objects and angle based is useful for complex objects so now I have, now I have unwrapped one of the portion is top one of the one of the island is top island and one of the island is the bottom part of the object so what is follow active quads what I can do is select a square for example if I tap on 2 to select the edges if I select this edge this edge is perfectly straight but this edge is a little bit angled so to make it flat I will tap on yes X and sorry X not Y and 0 so it is perfectly now parallel to Y X axis now I will select this edge and then scale it on X axis and to 0 value so it will be straight and if I select this thing what I can actually do is I can right click over here and align to X axis it will also do the same thing so after that being done what I will do is I will select this entire island and make sure the UV sync is switched off select this entire island and make sure that this 
part of the UV island is selected lastly so I will go to 3 which is face mode and shift and click on this thing to make sure it is the last selected object and then right click and follow active quads you can right click over here or follow active quads you can tap U and go to follow active quads you can tap U over here and go to follow active quads and it will be asking do you want it to do evenly according to length wise or according to length average keep it length average length average works perfectly fine and click on ok this is how the line will be kept over here and these are very useful in managing the UV workspace over here you can easily place it anywhere wherever your art desires you can place it so that is follow active quads so that is that let me select the entire object over here remove the seams so that I could show you the next option which is cube projection if I click on cube projection imagine that a cube is placed around the torus object so it will get a top part a bottom part a front part a back part a left part a right part sorry a left part a right part so if I click over here and tap EL to select the entire island and then G and place it over here sorry I will select this thing L G and bring it over here so this is one island if I select this thing and G and tap over here this is second island so in this manner there are lots of islands created over here from all the different sides of the object so that's how the cube projection works the next option is cylindrical projection for this to work cylinder objects are very useful so let me go to material preview editor so that we could see the UV map and then make sure that I am in edit mode then go to add and add a cylinder because this object is in edit mode and we have applied a material over it so if I add any object the material will be directly applied over the object so this type of projection is useful for cylindrical object cylinder projection and the next thing is spherical projection this is very useful as you could easily understand that if I take a UV sphere it will be very useful on the spherical projection on the eco sphere it works a little bit different because you can see there are seams over here there is seam over here there is a cut over here you can clearly view the cuts over here so on the eco sphere the map is not laid that wonderfully but on UV sphere the map is very wonderfully laid so let me select this entire thing and delete it delete the vertices I by the way I selected the entire thing by mouse keeping hovering my mouse over the object and tapping L on the keyboard it will select the entire object so that are the three types of UV projection so the next option is project from view for this to be visible for this to be illustrated let me illustrate it on cube shift a go to mesh and uh, cube now if I go to tab menu it is showing me the UV map I will bring this UV map over here now if I select this face by tapping 3 on the keyboard and go to view and then come to project from view so it will see what is visible directly from this angle from wherever we are viewing it and places it in the UV map even if it is small it will make sure that the size is maintained and if the size is large it will be maintained so the next option is project from view bounds if I click on this even if the object is very small and far away if I type U on the keyboard and project from view and bounds it will be expanding it towards the edges of the UV map and if I zoom here 
and tap on view and project view from bound bounds it will be it will be inside that boundary of the uv map it will make sure that it doesn't leaves outside the boundary and the next option is mark seam it is to mark a line as cut from that point onwards blender will cut if i select this edge and tap u on the keyboard and mark seam so it will be putting and a red color line which will be used to cut and uh, if i select this face and tap u and clear the seam it will be clearing the seam over there and if you want you can also reset it for example if i select mesh and monkey and tab over here and u and reset it it's going to reset the entire uv map so that's it for this guys hope you like this video if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button leave a wonderful comment and if possible use google pay phone pay paytm to donate some money to me so that it will be entirely used for the research in blender and if possible i have created a patreon page you can access that page by going to any video of blender veda and in the description you will get a patreon page and if you click on this link it will be taking you to a page where you can support me monthly by providing $1 $3 or $9 per month or $20 per month if and if possible watch the entire ads which are falling on this videos without skipping so that the revenue which is generated from there will be completely gone towards research in blender so that's it for this guys until then try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video